Hello, hello, hello. This is Caleb with Practical Dad's Advice. And this week, uh, I continued finding uh, the art aesthetic and locking down the setting and the themes for the game. Uh, as you probably can see and guess, we're going. I'm taking the mechanics from my first prototype, uh, especially the movement. Uh, mechanics not so much the combat mechanics but certainly the movement com uh, mechanics and the things I learned from that prototype and I am finding what is going to work uh, finding what I can do finding what I can work and the big thing that I'm wanting to do the big thing that I'm doing right now is uh, finding aesthetic and scene that is going to flow well and utilize as much of my asset set as possible which is one of the reasons why I decided on the change of the setting is because trying to uh, find enough assets that were going to work within that setting was proving uh, not only difficult but prohibitively expensive ultimately so uh, had to make the the decision to go in a different direction a direction that ultimately I think is going to be a good thing I think it's going to uh, be a benefit but uh, it does require quite a lot of rethinking and quite a lot of uh, retooling and reworking. Um, so that's where I'm at right now is we're continuing to do that retooling um, going much more into a, a futuristic cyberpunk setting. Um, and I'm continuing to tweak and learn. I'm learning about iRay. That's something that people have asked about quite a lot, so I'm taking advantage of that. Uh, so one of the tutorials here sometime will probably be on iRay once I learn more. So look for that, and I'll see you guys next week. Like and subscribe. Be at peace.